tonight, a first step in an impeachment investigation into Governor Cuomo. The state assembly speaker is authorizing the assembly judiciary committee to begin looking into allegations of misconduct against the governor. For weeks now, Republicans and some Democrats have called for the governor's resignation following an investigation into his department's reporting on nursing home deaths and allegations of sexual harassment. Governor Cuomo all along denying any wrongdoing, saying he will not step down. Atia Collins talked with some local members of the state assembly and joins us now in studio with their reaction. Atia. Republicans and Democrats do agree on one thing. This impeachment investigation will uncover the facts surrounding claims of misconduct against Governor Cuomo. Those answers crucial to transparency with the people of New York and moving forward with economic and social reopening. State Republicans and some Democrats continue calling for Governor Andrew Cuomo's resignation following allegations of misconduct, but with no official charge against the governor, an article of impeachment cannot be brought forward, according to Assemblymember Harry Bronson. Bronson believes the State Assembly Judiciary Committee's impeachment investigation is a crucial step to uncovering the facts and determining how to move forward. The Assembly is doing its job. Um, it's our responsibility to have oversight of the executive branch. There are very serious um, allegations brought against Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo is already facing an attorney general investigation into the state's reporting of nursing home deaths and allegations of sexual harassment. State Republicans want Governor Cuomo out of the office now. Some claiming this latest investigation could be a political ploy to keep the governor in office longer. Assembly Minority Leader Will Barclay said in a statement, the committee's work must move forward expeditiously. It cannot be used as a mechanism to buy more time. Assembly Member Brian Mangtolo, representing Wayne County, agrees. I think for us going into the budget season and we'll be doing the budget here in the next few weeks, I think people need to have confidence in our New York state government that we're doing the right thing and for him to resign I think would send that message to the people of New York. The committee will have the power to subpoena documents, interview witnesses and evaluate evidence. Bronson is hopeful that politics will not play a role in uncovering the truth. This should not be political. This is getting to the facts, knowing what they are, and if they lead us to a point to hold the governor accountable, then that's where we are. The impeachment investigation will not interfere with the attorney general's independent investigation. Reporting, Atia Collins, News 8. Atia, thank you. Governor Cuomo has said when it comes to the nursing home situation, the state followed federal guidelines. As for the sexual harassment and misconduct claims, he maintains he never touched anyone inappropriately. That said, he has apologized if his actions led to any ill feelings on the part of former aides. The Rochester Police Accountability Team is taking a closer look at Rochester's Person in Crisis or PIC team to determine